NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. I am going to explain about the time domain specification of second order system. We know the standard dance function of second order system. Omega n square divided by s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square. This is the standard second order system. It's an open loop configuration. When I give a step input, that means I change from input 0 to 1. The output may be under damped or undamped system or critical damped system or over damped systems based on del values. These concepts are already explained in the response of second order system. Link for the video is provided in the description of the video. Let me take a under damped system for the calculation of time domain specification. First specification is peak overshoot. Peak overshoot is defined as the how much amount is increases beyond the desired value. Desired value is 1. So peak overshoot is defined as the peak value minus 1 divided by 1 in the 100 at percentage. Second specification is peak time. Time taken to reach the peak value is called as the peak time. Okay. Third specification is rise time. Time taken to reach the desired value at very first. Fourth specification is settling time. Setting time is defined as the time taken to reach the final value. The final value may be 2% 2 2 error of desired or 5% error of desired. Okay. Fifth one is delay time. Delay time is defined as the time taken to reach the 50 percentage of the desired value at very first. Okay, these five specifications are very important in time domain. For undamped system, maximum peak occurs. So, the peak overshoot for undamped system is 100 percentage. For critical damped system or over damped system, there is no peak. Okay, so peak overshoot for the critically damped or over damped system is 0 percentage. Settling time for undamped system is infinite. Okay, it, it, it does not settle. So, the settling time for undamped system is infinite. With third formulas, you should know the data. Okay. Relation between time domain specification with del and omega. For the exam point of view, you should remember the expression of peak time, rise time, settling time and peak overshoot. If you derive the peak time, rise time expressions respect del and omega n at, during the exam time, it takes long time. So, just remember the expression. Now, I will explain the procedures for the derivation. We know the standard transfer function, y of s bar of s. We go to calculate the y of t. So, so y of s is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square into r of s. r of s is the input. I am going to give the step input. r of t is equal to 1. So, r of s is equal to 1 by s, the Laplace transform. So, y of s. So y of s is equal to omega n square divided by s into s square plus 2 del omega s plus omega n square because r of s is equal to 1 by s. Now we have to take the inverse Laplace for the calculation of output with respect to time. We will get 1 minus e power minus del omega nt divided root of 1 minus del square into sin omega dt plus theta where omega d is equal to omega n into root of 1 minus del square. Theta is equal to tan inverse of root of 1 minus del square by del. Okay. If you want the step by step derivation i i provided the word format in the description box of the video just refer it for the calculation of peak time peak time is defined as the time taken to reach the peak value so y of t will be maximum when dy by dt is equal to zero this is the condition for maxima or minima okay so we will take differentiate we will differentiate the y of t and you get to zero we will get the peak time tp is equal to y by omega d then peak overshoot. Peak was already defined. Difference peak value minus z value divided by z value in 100. Substitute the peak value at y of t. You will get peak overshoot is equal to e power minus del by divided by root of 1 minus del square in 100. You should remember this formula. Don't derive the peak time may peak overshoot during the exam time. The question is given. Calculate the peak time, peak overshoot. Just recollect the formula and substitute, find the answers. Rise time. We know the rise time, time taken to reach the output y of t is equal to 1. We know that output response for the signal system. 
सबसे रोज ऑफ़ टी वैल्यू सो साइन ओमिया टी प्लस डेटा विल बी जीरो साइन डेटा विल बी जीरो व्हेन डेटा इज़ इक्वल पाई सो ओमिया टी प्लस डेटा इज़ इक्वल पाई डेटा इज़ इक्वल टू टैन इनवर्स ऑफ़ रूट ऑफ़ ओन माइनस डेल स्क्वायर बाय टेल सो टी आर इक्वल टू पाई माइनस डेटा बाय ओमिया डी इस द राइस टाइम पीक टाइम मींस बाय बे ओमिया डी राइस टाइम मींस बाय बे थीट बाय माइनस थीट आ बे ओमिया डी ओके सेटलिंग टाइम दिस इज़ द एक्सपोनेंशियल डीकेइंग कंपोनेंट दिस इज़ द साइन कंपोनेंट ओके सो दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल डीकेइंग कंपोनेंट वैल्� so e power minus del omega nt divided by 1 minus l del square is equal to 0 0.02 for 2 percentage error from that e power minus del omega nt is equal to 0 0.02 into root of 1 minus del square so ts is equal to logarithmic take logarithmic on both side so ts is equal to minus ln into root 0 0.02 into root of 1 minus del square divided by del omega n okay for the approximation minus ln 0 0.02 by del omega n T S is equal to four by del omega n for two percent error. For five percent error, substitute zero point zero five instead of zero point zero two. We'll get the settling time answer. Settling time value will be three by del omega n for five percent error. This is the approximate value. Number peak time is equal by omega d. Peak O should equal to e power minus del by divided by root of one minus del square in hundred. Rise time is equal to pi minus theta by omega d. Settling time is equal to four by del omega n for two percent error. For 5 percent error, 3 by del omega n. Finally, remember the output equation y of t is equal to 1 minus c power minus del omega n t divided by 1 minus del square into sine omega d t plus theta, where omega d is equal to damped. Omega d is damped natural frequency. Omega d is equal to omega n in root of 1 minus del square. Theta is equal to root of 1 minus del square by del. Finally, I conclude. If you want the step by step derivation. Just refer the attached materials in the given description box. I advise that just what is the expression when you are going to examination.